Hello and welcome to our final version of Action Planning, our webinar of April 2020. Today, we want to end with a segment of sharing. We've had a lot of uh, leaders uh, really going out and trying new ways to learn new techniques, new ways to try and reach new people, our current team of clients and consultants. And I wanted to take this segment, one of the topics in our catch-up crew was how to have virtual parties, which is gonna be our training and our theme this entire month. You'll see a spotlight that on our Wednesday uh, regional call or webinar for all of our consultants, guests, and leaders. We're gonna hear a little bit about uh, text parties. Uh, I've asked Janice Todd to share with us on that night. We're gonna have more um, different techniques from Melissa on Facebook parties and many other shares we'll have from our top sellers and top team builders that will be there with us Wednesday night for our consultant regional team time. I want to kick off today in our leader segment this hot topic of really helping consultants get off to a great start. And I mentioned as we close part two today that last year we really heard a story from Susan Nichols, how she was so incredibly successful, really putting into play these uh, welcome parties, launch parties for her new consultants. So I want to say thank you, Susan Nichols, for coming in. She, I asked her to share what success that was and how we could flip that into virtual parties today. So please help me welcome your successful district manager from Northern California, Susan Nichols. Take it away. Oh, thanks, Jackie. Um, the virtual party now is is the name of the game. And um, it's funny because one of my gals that just became a consultant last month was going to have a big birthday party. That was her deal for today or for this month. And that was why she joined, rejoined Jafra and she was using it as her um, project. So we were talking and uh, she kind of decided that, oh gosh, I can't do it because now we're all stuck at home, right? And um, so I talked to her yesterday. And so by the end of our conversation, she's flipped it and she's all excited about now doing her party. So virtually um, she had about eight or, you know, in person, she has about 18 people coming to her this party, birthday party. And, and Jaffer welcome party combined. And, um, so she had to tell them all for um, samples. She's, she's now polling her guests saying, yes, we're going to do the 23rd or 24th of this month. And uh, we're going to send samples to her guests. So my thought is, but you know, this can go any direction that we want it to, have to go. But um, we're going to do the four departments. Uh, we're going to send samples to um, maybe four of the people coming on fragrance, four people on skincare, four people body care, four people makeup. And then what they're going to do is they come online and they're going to share what they're doing with their products and we're going to help them. And the other challenge we had, which I had no clue of, is that um, Robin, my consultant, doesn't have a big enough place to do the party. So I'm saying, well, no problem. You know, you can do it. And she said, no, I can't. I'm telling you, it is like an elbow apartment, right? So um, I said, okay, here's what we're going to do. I'll do the Zoom party for you. I'll have all the products here. You invite the people and you're one of my guests too, but we're hosting you as your birthday and your um, kickoff. So um, she's all excited. She, and then she also said, I don't have any, you know, I don't have any props. I don't have my you know, my decorations, my, all my stuff. I said, don't worry, we'll figure it out. So that's where we're at at the moment, but she's going to do great. And she has people that want to join the team. Um, she said, you know, all these are, are moms that are just staying home, schooling, homeschooling their kids. They're sick of being home. They want to get out and do something. And she was saying, is this going to be two hours? I said, oh, no, 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 not going to be two hours. We're only going to do like, you know, maybe half hour, hour, whatever it is. But the gals are going to bring their drinks, whatever they want to drink. We're going to have um, them with their little sample products, whatever those are that they have. And um, then I'm just going to introduce Robin. She's got her online stuff all ready to go. She is setting out and sending out um, invites and now just getting all her peeps ready to roll. So it's pretty exciting. Love it. 
Love it, love it. So again, looking at this whole opportunity to do things different, it's, it's always been here. Many of you have done Zoom parties, right? Many of you have had things like that in the past, but now more than ever, challenge yourself each day to look at who can I pull together today? You have all sorts of different categories, inactives, new, pre-inactives, future leaders, VIPs. You might serve different needs to a Zoom gathering, to a Zoom party, but it is a time to connect. I love phone calls, but if you do a phone call, always have a place to invite them for more. Rather than just take the order or help them with their order, you may do that, but invite them to bring more to something else. That's the key, is how does your service turn into meeting new? Imagine even grouping clients and consultants together. You have the sale price in the book or the sale price as a consultant. You may just have new team members by just showing and pausing. So I wanna to go to all of you. Thank you, Susan, I love it. What a great way, this is a whole thing. I love what Susan did. How many of your consultants have a Jaffra anniversary this month? Mm -hmm. Or leaders? How many of your consultants have a birthday party? You can see their date of birth, right? You can see when they join Jaffra. So, and you may not, can you see your date of birth on your consultants? No, you can't, you can see their anniversary. So think about having an anniversary party for your consultants and they can bring some of their favorite family members to come celebrate, right? So there's all sorts of ideas that can go from here. Let's go back to the audience. I wanna hear any ideas that you put into play, that you learned and you tried, that made you feel more confident and maybe led you to some small wins or big wins that you did not do before coronavirus. What would you share? Who wants to share? Just do some quick shares. Let's hear. Go ahead, Cheryl. Now, I have not done this yet. It's on my to-do list for today, but at um, during our branch meeting on Saturday, which was a Zoom meeting, this just kind of popped into my head as a great thing to do. We all know restaurants are struggling right now. And um, I'm going to reach out to some of the restaurant owners that I know here in Sandy Springs to see if they want to do a joint marketing campaign where I can put something in every one of their to-go orders and um, you know, just a flyer or something about Jaff or direct them to the website. And then when they place an order and either text me, you know, their name and the restaurant that they purchased from, um, then I'm going to do a donation back to the servers fund or whatever else they want to do. But I thought that would be a good way to get our name out um, in a very easy way. So I'm going to try it. I've got five different restaurants here in Sandy Springs that I'm going to approach with the idea and we'll see how it goes. I love that. Huge, huge, super smart. Thank you. Okay, let's see, Pat's typing, I recognize their Jaffa birthday age every month. Great, think of ways to do that with their picture on Facebook, think of ways to do that with a Zoom party, and they can invite their favorite family and friends to come celebrate them. So all sorts of fun things with the birthday. I love the co-marketing, brilliant. So absolutely great, thank you, Cheryl. Who else has a, I tried, I'm learning, I'm trying and defying. Who else has a share? Go ahead, Janice Todd. Okay, so one of the reasons I had such high sales was the Defy skincare set. And so I, I know all of you have sachets at your house and you ordered them when they were on sale this month. And so as people were calling in their orders, I asked if they had a family member that had not tried Jaffer that I could mail a sachet to. Very quick, I asked for referrals in every order. So um, just utilizing what's coming towards me and trying to double you know, my sales that way. So how many do you think, Janice, you mailed out that caused, how many do you think you mailed and then how many returns do you think you had on that? From sachets? Yeah, how many, how many do you feel you mailed out 
And then how many do you feel, or how many do you know bought the, the regimen? Well, I sold about 10 to five sets last month. So um, for the referrals, I can't say that they all resulted in set sales, but they resulted in new clients. And how do you get new clients when you're home? And it definitely will start with you mailing sachets out. Those relationships are still being built. And I've been doing this for several months. So I can't say that everything happened in March, but things are going to happen in April where some, some of you are looking at your calendar and you're wondering what your day, week will be. I'm looking at my calendar and saying, I need to call the following people. They just received my package. And so I actually have um, activity on my calendar from just Excellent. the mail. I'm Excellent. at the post office three times or four times a week. Beautiful. I love using samples. So very smart. And it's really, again, some may buy the, the regimen, some may not, but the key is new clients, new hostesses, new consultants, new leaders. New is the only way to grow, right? You, so, you have your sachet papers too. So in every every uh, sachet that I sent out, it came with a handwritten card, a book. And so they had new things to look at. Maybe they ordered, you know, just skincare, but I had them take a look at the cologne as well. Beautiful. The scent strips are very inexpensive, right? You have the two big, 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 big holidays for scent sales. Mother's Day and Father's Day. Start grabbing it now. People are actually shopping earlier because they need it for stress. So you want to get ahead of that. So I love that. And a gift from someone who cares about you, right? So that's that referral. Janice, brilliant. Thank you for sharing. Who else would like to share what they have learned, they have tried, and they're defying? This is Hannah. I want to share. Thank you, tell us. So I had two really cool things happen this weekend. One, I put three consultants who are new to Jaffra. Um, one of them, well, one of them is a future leader and then she has recruited two people. And we've been trying to do their launch parties for a while. And so what we did was we brought all all of their communities together on Facebook for one big launch party. And there were about, they invited over 500 people. And this is what I think is really cool about Facebook and the great opportunity with it right now is that our reach is greater. You could never have 500 people in a room ever unless you know, you're at a convention. And not all 500 showed, of course, but all 500 at least learned about the name Jaffra, right? So that's A, branding. We had, 40 people show up and it was amazing. I did a raffle and it was insane. I couldn't even <laughs> count the number of people and the entries. It was so much, it was great. It was so much work to go back and see how um, active everybody was. With the social, uh, the virtual business, you guys go on there. Melissa's given us such great prompts with the um, questions. So what I did is I took those social things. She asked, true, you know, like true or false? Do you wash your skin? At, do you wash your face at night? And I would just post that and say, I'll go first. True. Sometimes I forget to wash my face at night. You know that kind of stuff. And I just made it a really fun game. The consult, I trained my consultants to also be active and engage. Every time someone placed an order, I took that thank you for ordering post put that in there we had over almost over 550 dollars in orders from that just for the weekend for those consultants which was awesome i was so proud of them and they've grown their business by 40 to 50 new people who are still placing orders um and the great thing about facebook too is they can go back and watch that video anytime I learned how to stream from Zoom to Facebook. So that was a new try and defy thing for me. And it was, I totally bumbled through it, but it worked out and it was great. So that was one really cool victory this weekend. And then I also, similar to Cheryl, I'm trying to partner with other direct sales um, industries that are different from mine. So like clothing or, you know, Epicure or Pampered stuff and stuff like that. And what we've done is we've put together a big vendor event. So, and every day a different direct sales person is presenting their product. 
And so mine was last Friday and I got 10 new customers from that as well. So, and then 10 new people joined my VIP group. Um, I'm still following up with some people about skincare orders. So again, think about people in your community that you know do direct sales and say, hey, do you wanna partner up and do a Facebook event where each day one of us features something our product line and just make sure there's no crossover right so and that was hugely successful for me and i'm still taking orders from that as well so that that has been a huge crazy weekend for me but it's it's been awesome so yeah, hannah did you do that on your personal page so i did it as a personal vendor but i created so for the vendors with the direct sale companies that's a group so we created a private group and we and so the great thing about it is we all invited our current clients. So I invited 40 of my clients. The doTERRA girl invited 40 of her clients. We have over 200 people in that group. And I gained 10 new clients that I didn't have before. And then, of course, some of my clients bought from other people, which is great. Because I love these women and I want to support them too. So that's how I did that. And of course I post as myself because when you're in a group, you're your personal thing. And then for my consultants, I created an event and I streamed that event. And again, that was also through me. So none of this is through my, my business page. So it was events and it was groups. That's how I, I did that. That is rock star. So think about it again. Just think what we're learning, right? So... Think of how much time and money you might put into a vendor show, right? Oh my gosh, Hannah and the bridal show, how much work is that, right? Right? It's like, oh my gosh. But it's it's worth it at some point because you're, you're, you're gaining, right, new people. But if you look at direct marketing, you always get a 1% to 3% return basically on any direct marketing. When it's someone that you know and there's affiliation like referrals that Janice is saying, who can we send a gift to? Hannah's saying, wait, you bring your peeps, I'll bring mine, right? And because they already know someone and that referral, why Facebook is so brilliant is because they know someone with, within that connection. And so that the results can happen far faster. How many times did you do an expo? You walked out with 40 leads, but it took you four years to get 10 new clients, <laughs> right? Oh my gosh, I remember the buckets of leads. Ah! So again, it's the follow-up, the follow-up. But here it is very quick in a new world. So, and people again are coming together with people they know and trust. So 500 people invited, 40 show up. Are you kidding me? First of all, that's insane. Um, awesome. And they were, they were just coming together. That's why I said, you may not have to separate an event and do three launch parties. The one thing I will, I will share that I did a little research. I called some of my friends that are sales managers in other companies. And I did ask them the top things working. Are they growing? Are they going down? Those who are having double digit growth, similar to um, our market, um, the Ember region, it was all due to the top leaders quickly flipping from in-home parties to online parties. And, and it is multi-hostesses was the number one thing. Multi-hostesses. Even if your inactive consultants come and they each bring a friend, that's a multi-hostess in a particular way, right? So I, I love it. Just try it. Don't worry. Like Hannah said, I kind of fumbled through it. But you know what? I did it. And now I'll know how to do it again. And they can come back and bring more. So kudos to all of you from utilizing the mail system to working within people you know. Um, we're not going to go into details of training on it. Okay. That's a different topic if we choose to go there. But I just got to say, this is the key is bringing people together. That's why our whole focus this month is virtual gatherings. I'm going to call them parties. Uh, call them what you want but it's absolutely defying isolation. We have time for just one more um, hot share. Go ahead, Wileen. Okay, I worked all weekend and created a um, coronavirus nail care party. And I did um, a PowerPoint in the units. If you scroll way, 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 way down, there are slides that you can put on there 
And so I had four of our leaders join me last night that I can do a practice. <laughs> yes, you're awesome. Oh my gosh. Uh, the one slide that I forgot at the very end was information about me, how they could find me. <laughs> <laughs> so I have done a Word document, but I can't, I can't find it. I can't get it onto my PowerPoint. So I'm going to have to meet with either you, Jackie, or, yep. we or can do it someone tomorrow else on catch up. We'll do to, it. to finalize that. And also, I need to know how to stream it to Facebook like Hannah did. So those are my two big needs because I've spent the last hour and a half, that's why I was late. I've got my time zones all screwed up. <laughs> so, so Wileen, I've got to just brag about you. This is so fun. So um, literally started with the catch-up crew. wileen has been there every day. So she started with her one minute video, had to learn how to do that with sparkles, right? If I go back, it feels like you did this three years ago. It was three weeks ago. Oh my gosh. So the power of learning. So she learned how to do a video, right? She then, after three hours, learned how to do YouTube and upload a video, okay? And so did that as part of the catch-up crew and what she was learning and trying and earning and defying all through the week. <laughs> then she went, it was so cute. She went out. And so we've been doing the recommendations. If you go back to the goal achieving webinar last Monday, again, feels like 10 years ago, I made a slide that said, these are all the things for you to learn and try so you can earn and defy. And so literally you could go through her checklist. It's hilarious, right? <laughs> so started doing her Facebook live, started doing her you know, group, started doing so many things. She was one of the top, like um, her best month ever was last month. So over the weekend, I said, would you make a video for Jeff? We're picking five who had the best month ever in our region. So I said, go ahead and make a video. So she sends a video. It was awesome. Fantastic. Well, she then decides, no, I'm going to try something new. So this time she goes in, she has typing. She learned how to put words and music in her one minute video. I'm like, holy <laughs> you are amazing then she goes around and she texts me again okay now I'm gonna learn PowerPoint so because again you might have it in your server or I've suggested to go to Canva to get your virtual backgrounds to get your PowerPoint to get anything you want to do it's what you see me make things really quick so anyway she's done that and uh, I just gotta say Wileen it's just been an absolute hoot watching you go from sparkles <coughs> to sparkling in a very short time and many of you have done this i know i could speak on you know a whole dozen or more of you that have just been showing and sharing and learning and trying but again thank you for sharing that today congratulations i know i saw you were just learning and inviting people to do the party so thank you our call to action for all of you today and we could probably share for three days but we're going to keep this to our normal time is to just say go for it think of your four squares what is it I want to learn this week or each day? What then will I do today? What people will I be calling and contacting today? And remember, two forms. If you're going to phone them, great, but have them look somewhere or invite them somewhere. Always a two-step when you're communicating. So think of your categories of people. We'll be coming back to this tomorrow at our catch-up crew because we can plan our time so we earn. So we're going to learn. We're going to earn. We're going to try. We can learn, but we got to try it, just like you heard Wileen say. And then we're going to defy it. Our world of how we do business has changed forever. So we can't look in the rearview mirror. It's all about we've got our, our uh, brights on, on our headlights, and we are here to look through a whole new front dashboard of how we do business and invite people every day. Thank you all for being amazing in our share time today. This now ends part three of our action planning webinar. Leaders, Tuesday through Friday this week, the week of March 6th, please join us for our four square catch-up crew every single morning. And every day, look at your calendar and see who you're calling to invite to anything we have in our calendars for English or Spanish. Together, we virtually are gonna keep growing. Thank you for again, everyone sharing today. Congratulations, Amber Region.